What's going on, YouTube? It's Castle here again. Uh, today we're going to be reacting to a song recommended by Busser64 uh, called Thrill by Bandmade. Uh, this is, again, one of those bands I have never heard. He said they're a new up-and-coming band from uh, New York, I want to say. Wisconsin? I don't know. The, the, the comment was a little weird the way it was described um yeah never heard of this band uh hopefully hopefully they're good um i'm not too sure like i said in previous videos i'm willing to check out anything you know rap rock reggae whatever i, I just have a musical ear i, I love li literally listening to everything um anything really doesn't bother me as long as it sounds good it sounds good uh, if that makes sense. Um, uh, Busser, I appreciate the recommendation. Uh, let's just hop straight into this video, man. Breaking your gate. <laughs> Oh, 
fucking dope, dude. All right. Buster, 64, thank you for that. Okay, so my bad with the beginning of the video. I didn't know really what you were saying until I saw the video, and then I had to Wikipedia. Um, so apparently, that was a Japanese heavy metal group. I thought you meant like they were from New York City or Wisconsin. I didn't know you meant they performed there. Um, but they were formed in 2013 um, in Japan. Uh, and they modeled their uniforms after uh, cafe maids, which I didn't think was a thing, but apparently, I guess in Japan, it probably is. And each uniform is meant to match uh, that person's personality. They've went through, what, four le record label changes now, um, signing, you know, bigger and bigger and bigger as they go up, you know, popularity. Um, but yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't know any of that stuff just based off of the band name and you know the <laughs> not knowing who they are i guess um but that was really cool uh i do like i do like the that there was an actual solo in here i guess it being more uh hard rock compared to uh you know heavier types of metal uh that there's gonna be different um levels and different things that are going to go into a song um you know for instance a solo in one of these songs uh, a lot of hardcore songs or a lot of deathcore metalcore they're not really going to have a solo they're probably going to either have a breakdown or uh you know bass drops stuff like that whereas this stuff it's going to be a little bit more uh standalone um instrument play rather than the whole band doing the same thing at the same time you know everybody's dipping while they play and you know I'm not, I'm, I'm not knocking it I'm a huge fan of both genres uh but yeah I was not expecting that um I do like the upbeat um like the punchiness of that song and the fact that it kept kind of going back to that same uh riff and it was just it wasn't predictable but it, it you knew it was coming back it was just when it was going to happen um I love the bass solo. That was cool. Uh, was not expecting that. You definitely don't hear that in a lot of songs uh, nowadays, that's for sure. Uh, you know, back in the 80s and 90s, you know, you go to a live show, somebody's playing the bass, they're doing a solo, somebody's doing a drum solo, somebody's doing a guitar solo, stuff like that. But you don't, you don't usually ever hear it, especially on a recorded song, um, nowadays anyways, I should say. Um, but... Uh, yeah, that was actually, I think, the first all-girl Japanese group that I think I've seen so far. Um, I know Baby Metal, some of the instrumentalists and stuff like that, they're guys. It's just the three girls that do the singing. Um, but yeah, I wasn't expecting that uh, at all. Um, anyways, uh, if you like the reaction, uh, leave a thumbs up, comment down below, or inbox me any recommendations you guys have. And, uh, Subscribe to the channel. You know, this is becoming cliche at this point, whether you subscribe or not. You know, it's free. It's, it's you're, you're, you're doing. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.